as you know, first, the first week of Advent, the Catholic Church will be debuting its new translation of the Roman Missal. And I know that many of you have been trying to figure out how it will be the case. It will be translated into ASL. I noticed that uh, many different committees have been set up to try to examine and analyze how to best express this in, in sign language. There's great things that are happening right now in this regard. Here in Boston, we set up a little committee with Father Jeremy and Jerry St. Martin and Father Michael Depsick, and my Michael Depsick, and Sister Kathy, Kathy, Jimmy, and Martina Nelson. Uh, we get together to study and discuss um, good ways to sign everything in the sacramentaries, line by line, and we've had a great, great experience so far. And uh, this will help us be really ready, much, much more ready for our trying, for our the debut of the new translation. Uh, what we've done still needs a lot of improvement, and we're looking for a feedback. We're trying to share what we've done with our committee and hoping to, sh to share the, the benefits of other committees' work, sharing these kinds of, this kind of work will result in a, a better experience. Now we've done some of the translating for the reading, a lot of the translation for Eucharistic Prayer number two. Uh, we haven't done the Creed or the Our Father. Uh, we will try to do that. We're going to find some more time to develop those kinds of... Uh, we will look forward to working with all of you and to listening to your feedback. May God bless you. My name is Father Sean. Carrie, Father Sean is how I'm usually referred to. I've been a priest for two years for the Archdiocese of Boston. I'm involved with a project, this project, to translate the Roman Missal used for the Mass. I'm involved in this as a deaf person, wanting to pass on the truth and the good news for all our brothers and sisters who are deaf in order to help them understand their relationship with God is important. It's hard if the meaning is lost of that good news. I myself has ex have experienced confusion in the past, but it's important to have clear signing. My background involves six years of study at St. Patrick's Seminary in California to prepare me for the priesthood. I have a Master's of Divinity, which is theology. It's my honor to be here working with Monsignor Nelson, Sister Kathy, Father Michael Depsick, and Father Jeremy St. Martin. I'm very honored. God bless you. Hello. My name is Father Mike Depsick. I was asked to join this committee to translate the Roman Missal into ASL. My background involves being a priest for 11 years. Also, I'm deaf, grew up deaf, as well as using ASL as my first language. I've always enjoyed translating English into ASL. I've really enjoyed my time working on this committee since we all have various talents and abilities, some are skilled with Latin, some with religious education, as well as new graduates from the seminary with fresh ideas, and we've all worked very well together. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sister Kathleen Scipani. 
I'm Sister Kathy. I work for the Archdiocese of Philadelphia, and I've been involved with the deaf community for about 25 years. When I first entered is when I started to learn, and I joined the community for prayer. At that time, I decided to go to Gallaudet to learn ASL. Let me back up a moment and tell you how I became a sister 35 years ago. I took up theology, liturgy, and education for my undergraduate and studied special education on the graduate level, as well as deaf education. I'm really happy and honored to be involved in this translation of the Roman Missal into ASL. It's really great to have an opportunity to really analyze and work on this translation since I cherish the Mass as well as ASL so much. So thank you very much. Hi, my name is Father Glenn Nelson, Monsignor Nelson. I'm honored to be working on this project because I love the Mass and I love being a priest and have been for 18 years now. I've worked with the deaf community since I was 18 when I first started to learn sign language. I was fascinated by deaf culture and was able to learn the language from the community, which I just loved. It was such a beautiful culture and language. I became a teacher for the deaf and I have a degree, a bachelor's of arts, rather, excuse me, a bachelor's of science in deaf education. And I taught high school and interpreted for two years. After that, I decided to become a priest. So really my background is in deaf education. I became a priest and then got an additional degree in canon law. I received that degree in the year 2000. I've worked in the bishop's office for about 15 years now. So it's great for me to be able to see and work on the various levels within the church. And I'm happy to be able to bring my experience. And it's such a great team, and I'm really thrilled to be able to be involved. Thank you. My name is Father Jeremy St. Martin. Father Jeremy. I'm a priest for the Archdiocese of Boston, and I've been a priest for about nine years. Four years ago, my bishop asked me to start working with the deaf community as the priest for the deaf. And two years before that, I was sent to prepare at the University of Gallaudet in Washington, D.C., where I studied ASL. I also studied at a local school in Framingham, Massachusetts, the Learning Center for the Deaf, as well as having two tutors from the deaf Catholic community who would teach me every Friday. In addition to all of that, I worked with Father Sean Carey one summer. Well, at that time he was a seminarian, not quite a priest. And he required me to communicate entirely with my eyes and hands that summer. I wasn't allowed to use my voice. It was difficult, but very successful experience. I grew up with my mother, uh, who was a poet. And she was always teaching me new vocabulary words. Also, before I became a priest, I went to art school. I have a Bachelor's of Fine Arts degree in technology and art. And God has truly blessed me by sending me to become the priest for the deaf, exposing me to a new language and helping me to understand who he is better and follow him. So I'm excited to be working with all of these great individuals to translate the mass to better serve the deaf community for the benefit of the deaf community as well as the non-deaf communities trying to understand the words that we pray at Mass on Sunday better.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins that we may prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, what I have done, and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault through my most grievous fall. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever a virgin, and all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and lead us with our sins forgiven to eternal life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, 
for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and for the good of all his holy church. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Benedict, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, to you, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit is all honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins. but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. 
Thanks be to God.